Good morning, guys. We're getting the day started off here, sealing up the ends of these logs. You're supposed to seal up the ends of your logs after, really, as soon as you can after cutting them down or cutting them up. And the reason you do that is it helps the log to dry out more evenly. If you have the ends exposed, they dry out faster through the ends. So I am late to the game on sealing these up and I'm just using some regular wood sealer. You could see this is called checking where it's, you see all these cracks and it wasn't like this when we first cut it down, but it's been sitting here for a couple days and it doesn't take long for it to start to, to crack and to dry out the ends. So once I'm done with this, we're actually going to go and finish putting the rocks down on the ramp in front of the shed because we're trying not to start projects and not finish them. <laughs> so we're going to finish those rocks real quick and then we're going to start milling this stuff. I'm really excited. We need to get some boards going. Okay, it's time to cut our first log and start making some siding for that shed. Is it too long? <laughs> That's not good. I think we could have shoved it in further. I had a, a few inches to spare. I have to carefully roll it back. Darn, I thought it would make it to this last rail. But the wheels hit before man. Mm -hmm. So we need this log to be 16 feet 9 inches for a specific part on the shed. Piece of trim. So we've got it up to the very tips of the blade. And hopefully we can get that 16 foot 9 inches. I don't know why in the manual... Uh... Once you put this track extension on, you're supposed to be able to do 16 foot 11. Um, but apparently, I, I don't know, it's, it's 16 foot 9. We're trying to squeeze that out. As far as we know, we put it all together correctly. Yeah, I mean, I don't know where those other two inches went. <laughs> so, I don't know, we'll see. Let's see. Let's run Let's it again and ends up. Yep, see what happens. It made it! Like three sixteenths of spare. That's about how much tooth is sticking out of that. Nothing like maxing it out on your first log. We need half of our boards to be live edge like this. We're gonna take the bark off though, because bark rots. And the other half of our boards just need to be a uh, regular one by, well not one by, I guess they're one by 12. 
boards, but they're they call them one by, but they're actually three quarter. We're going for three quarter inch. <laughs> so we've got our first piece of live edge. Um, I'm gonna get one more off the top of this before we flip it over to the other side. Get a couple out of that. And also we need a few four by four pieces of lumber, really long. These don't need to be this long. We're, they're gonna get cut up into pieces as, you know, the lengths that we need. But it's the four by fours that we need out of this full length. Comes right off. Holy cow. Oh, that was crazy. Really, I kind of want these Bark. knots where the branches were to stay. Oh, look at that. Did that look weird? That's crazy. Bark removed. On this one, anyway. <laughs> This is so cool. We're like milling our own lumber. Yeah. Isn't that wild? That is one log down. We got quite a bit of material out of that. These uh, pieces here are four by four, four inch by four inch posts, but they're not gonna be used as posts. I'll show you in a second what those are for on the shed. But we, at first I thought we weren't gonna get as much as I'd like out of this log, but I think we got plenty. We got all these boards here. Most of them are live edge, which are gonna they're gonna stay that way. And you'll you'll see what they're gonna be for. Um, some of the ones on the top are uh, squared off, and you'll see what those are for as well. These four by fours that are 16 foot nine inches. Let me show you what they're gonna be used for here's the plan i really originally i wanted metal flashing to go over the top of the wall and we looked into it it is very expensive and i can't bring myself to purchase uh steel flashing so I came up with an idea, bear with me. We got this here four by four. 
it's an actual four by four. It's not a three and a half by three and a half or whatever the ones at the store are. So we're gonna trim this up, mill this up, I should say, to where it doesn't look square like this. It's gonna look like a big piece of trim that is gonna sit on top of the wall. Of course, we still gotta get our laser level and cut the top of the wall flat. And then this will go on and it'll just look like a big trim piece that will also act as flashing and help deflect water. Now, I know this isn't the traditional way to do this. <laughs> this is the best I could come up with. I'm confident that it, it will work fine and that it won't rot any faster than the rest of the siding. The good thing we have going for us is we got a lot of rock all the way up to here. That's about like four foot off the ground. 45 inches. So when it rains, more times than not, the rain doesn't even blow sideways hard enough to get this high. Sometimes it does. That's okay. So that's our plan. It'll be sealed, of course. It's not just not going to be raw wood exposed. And it's going to look pretty good. I got an idea of how I want to mill this up to make it look like a nice uh, piece of trim, basically, that will act as flashing also. Yeah, I don't know what your plan is. You don't know? I mean... Well, it involves most likely a skill saw and possibly a table saw with some angled cuts. Right. I just don't know what the end look is supposed to look like. Oh. I mean, I trust you. You come prepare, up with great stuff, but... Prepare to be shocked and amazed. Okay. <laughs> I will be. Good. Here we have all the lumber from our first log. We got a pretty good amount out of it. I have just one more thing to do that I got to cut up in here. And I got to make some sticks that are called stickers. Basically, it's just skinny little sticks that are used to space the boards out from one another to help with drying so that air can get around the boards evenly and fully so they can dry properly. So I'm gonna grab a couple of these, make some of those sticks and get this all stacked uh, the way it's supposed to be. And then we can move on to the next log. Who's making popcorn? It's just us out here. That's a little weird. All right, you wanna pull that off? Look at those big old knots. Somebody's watching me. quarter 
Live edge board, Ethan. Oh. We need to get the bark off. Oh, that came right off. I want to try. One of the benefits of a cast is what? Uh, you always have a hammer on hand, right? <laughs> Get it? On hand? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Yeah. Now you can tell that joke to the kids at school. I think he's starting to like you. <laughs> I think he's starting to. I'm his favorite. <laughs> It's got like these gray stripes through it. That is pretty cool. I love it. Is another log down. So these two big chunks here are going to be the trim around our door. And this is just uh, kind of the extra that was from that. But what I will do is cut this down even more, but with the, the table saw because it's way easier with the small stuff. And I'm going to make some more stickers out of it. Seven inches. It's a big one. That's the big one. All right, guys, we just wanted to take a break real quick from sawmilling uh, because we had so much fun. We did have so <laughs> uh, much fun getting these logs out of the out of the forest. Everything went really smooth. Nobody got hurt. Everyone was safe. Um, the log arch turned, worked out great. Everything went really well. Log out arch did amazing. Nothing had, nothing broke. We had a good time. The kids had a blast. The big kid had a blast. <laughs> I did. My brother came out. You guys might have seen him on the video with his kids. So our kids had cousins to play with. It was a good trip all around. Yeah, probably our new favorite camping spot over there. Yeah. Also, we just wanted to say that if you missed our last video of getting these logs, you gotta go back and, and check it out. Go watch it, it was a fun one. It was, yeah, you, you won't regret it. <laughs> um, that and Natalie did great job on 
editing that video. I thought mm -hmm. she put a lot of time into that. And if you want to watch me run a chainsaw. <laughs> yeah. Don't miss that part. If you want to have a good laugh. I mean, uh, if you want to watch Natalie run a chainsaw. <laughs> so, yeah, go back and see that video. I, uh, I really I enjoyed the trip and I really enjoyed watching the video, too. It's probably my new favorite video right. of ours. So check it out. We'll leave a link in the description. big guy here. It's the same log that you guys seen uh, that we cut off of that cliff out in the woods there. That was Don't stick your hand. I am not sticking my hand. You got it? I got it. Okay. Woo. That's a big log. Man, it's huge. It's awesome. <laughs> this will help save our blade, make it last longer. You're debarking before you cut it, huh? Yeah. I guess that makes sense. It gets all the dirt off and well, stuff. Well, yeah. This one was dragged through some dirt and mud. And before I was spraying it off with the hose, but this will help save her blade and save us some water. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> guys that is a lot of log still left from our biggest log <clears throat> the top part of that is about 12 and a half inches wide i'm cutting the boards three quarters of an inch thick and that's what the rest of that's going to be and there's going to be a lot of boards still out of that i don't know maybe 12 it's a beautiful thing making your own wood check out the stack it is growing oh yeah see these are all that I've been doing right now plus that plus those over there that's from the big log as well and from here down is our first two logs a really good amount of wood. So you're looking at two and a half logs <laughs> that we've done already, oh my goodness. Most of that is three quarter inch uh, material just for siding. We got the four by fours in there 
for the trim piece that'll go on top of the wall. And I've got some oversized two by fours for trim around the door. And that's all of it. This is exciting. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm gonna finish this. At least I'm gonna try to. The sun's already down. I don't, I'm gonna have to finish it tomorrow. There's, I'll get some more done now. But thank you guys for coming along. I'll see you on the next one.